We're now here in the historical city of Jerusalem with Chef Moshe Basson, who's going to teach us all about the very popular vegetable, the Jerusalem artichoke, which has even reached international notoriety. Let's try to dig it because it's growing in my garden underground. Wow, right outside the restaurant, as fresh what? as can be. <laughs> so this is the Jerusalem artichoke? Exactly. This you see? resembles more like a ginger than a Jerusalem artichoke. Or like a very crazy potato. Yeah. <laughs> Here, it will have later on flowers, but we want to try to get some... Some underground. So, we are going to find if there is a treasure. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Found some. Here, he got some gems. So these taste like real artichokes? This? You are going to check? Yeah. This one from Jerusalem. It's much more beautiful and sexy <laughs> than the one from Tel Aviv. Okay, now we're going to start seeing what we could do with these artichokes in the kitchen of the restaurant. You're going to be my sous chef? Sure. First time for everything. <laughs> okay, so an artichoke that came straight from the ground. What's the first step? Peel it. Step, you peel it. And it's really easy to peel. Washing it. The Jerusalem artichoke is pretty versatile as it can be roasted, fried, boiled, mashed or sautéed and works well with almost any spice. I'm sautéing it with uh, onion and olive oil of course. Woo! Look at that fire! Yeah. How does the artichoke soften if you're not boiling it first? So you can soften it in the oven or just with a little bit of oil, like here. Can you see? So here it's only in oil. Yeah. And it's already very soft. Mm -hmm. Chef Moshe has a passion for biblical culture and includes ancient spices and herbs that is mentioned in the Bible into his cuisine. This yeah. was the brush of uh, Moses, the Israelites, when they are leaving Egypt, they are marking the door with uh, a bunch of uh, hyssop. So this and is a neck of lamb that was already cooked in the oven for like four hours. Now it's almost a very soft. Cheers to the Jerusalem Artichoke. The Jerusalem Artichoke Festival in Festival. Yerushalayim. The Jerusalem Artichoke Festival is a newfound tradition with a collaboration between dozens of restaurants. Over 50 eateries take part in the festival. How long does the festival last? Do these restaurants that participate in the festival make artichoke only during this time, or...? So most of these restaurants will make, especially for the period of the festival, that will last like 10, 12 days, I'm not sure exactly. At the uh, Eucalyptus, we are doing it all the year. So done. There we are. So, Jerusalem Artichoke. Okay. In a nice little espresso glass. And Bible soup. This is the famous red lentil soup from the story of Jacob and Isab in the Bible. Despite its name, the Jerusalem Artichoke has no relation to the holy city. So, where did this name come from? In Italian, sunflower is girasole and girasole became Jerusalem by mistake. It's just, just like artichoke, so they call it Jerusalem artichoke in all the books. And all the chefs in Jerusalem, they're the ones that made this dish popular. Yes. Jerusalem artichoke was originally used as food for animals. Years later, it became the central food during wartime. As a result, it became somewhat of a taboo. During recent years, it became Jerusalem's absolute favorite. We got some help from Joel Robuchon, that when he visited Jerusalem, he was twice here. Wow. He was in shock. Uh, he was in shock. He said, you know, this used to be food for pigs in my country, the Jerusalem artichoke. And he said, you know, till now it was taboo. I didn't touch it. From now on else, Topinambu will be at least now to show the Jerusalem will be like this. Chef Moshe perfected the use of the Jerusalem artichoke and it became a popular one among the locals. He made sure to include it in the various dishes in a form of cream, in a soup, or as a side dish. So now for the final dish, the Jerusalem artichoke with, with the lamb. Let's see it. Where is it? Where is it? Mmm, <laughs> it smells delicious. Okay, let's dig in. 
Go. <laughs> Okay, so since we've been talking about the Jerusalem artichoke all day, let's start by trying that. I left feeling as satisfied as ever and with a whole new perspective on this unique vegetable. This is absolutely amazing. I had a great time here with you. Um, thanks so much. Cheers. Chaim. Chaim. <laughs>